Hey there, welcome to Craft Central Designs. I have more very awesome ornaments to share with you today. I have my hand painted reindeer, a very pretty wreath ornament, a beautiful pine cone ornament, and two very quick and easy ornaments in a polka dot theme and a Christmas tree theme using wood cutout ornaments, scrapbook paper, and ribbons from Hobby Lobby. I hope you feel inspired to get busy creating ornaments for your Christmas tree. Welcome to all to my channel today. If you enjoy this tutorial, please consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up and leave me your comments and let me know which ornament is your favorite. Okay, let me show you how I created these beautiful ornaments. First step, we have the hand-painted reindeer ornament. Now, if you look in the crafter score section at the Dollar Tree, you'll be able to find pieces like this. This particular one, it looks like a tag. It's wood, um, and it has a beaded uh, hanger. Um, now, if you, again, look in the crafter score section, and it's very likely you'll be able to find a piece like this to create this ornament. Now on the back or on the ornament itself, not necessarily the back, but on the ornament itself, um, I drew a kind of funny looking reindeer. He's very tall with long antlers, has a, a nice big red nose. I put a scarf around the neck and long skinny legs with hooves. Now, um, you can create any kind of drawing on an ornament like this that you like. You could do a snowman, uh, a Christmas tree, anything that you like. Just use a pencil. Works great on this type of wood. You can erase if you need to. And you could just create any kind of drawing on who you like and then paint it. I just love doing funny looking reindeers. So uh, I did this one. And um, it's actually pretty easy to draw. But if you're kind of at loss for what to draw or maybe how to draw something, just Google it. Uh, that's what I do all the time. So anyway, my antler on um, the antlers of my reindeer, I have a jingle bell hanging on the antler and then I have a scarf around the neck, which I'm going to paint red. I'm going to paint my jingle bell red and I'm going to paint my reindeer uh, brown. So uh, actually, this is a really, really easy drawing. And it turns out so super cute. And I did uh, put some snowflakes as well uh, on this ornament. So this is what I have thus far. And you can really see that drawing a little bit better now. I painted in the scarf, the nose, and the jingle bell red. I painted the antlers a little bit of a lighter brown. And uh, the rest of the reindeer just a a brown color. I painted in the eyes with black paint and the hooves black. And then I also outlined my reindeer uh, with a very fine line brush with black acrylic paint. I also uh, put a swoosh on the nose, a little bit of, um, of a highlight in the eyes. Now I'm going to show you how I'm going to uh, put my snowflakes on. Now, um, I didn't draw snowflakes like uh, the actual look of a snowflake. I just drew little circles, little dots. And I wanted this uh, ornament to be very simple, just like the reindeer is very simple. And I just created some little I guess just little painted dots. And I did take some ultra fine white glitter paint just to glitter it up a little bit, make that snow look glisteny on that ornament. Now that ornament uh, or that plaque or what, whatever you want to call it from Dollar Tree uh, came with a burlap um, hanger and uh, beads. And I did cut that off because I'm going to be placing um, some 
twine that you can see there. I believe I got that at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to place on there um, two red beads and two white beads. So um, I'm creating the hanger now. I just create a knot with a loop at the top. And I'm going to feed that through that hole on that wood tag. And I'm going to then put some painter's tape, if I can speak, painter's tape <laughs> on uh, the ends of my twine. So I can more easily feed that twine through those beads. And I'm going to just create my hanger with a red bead, a white bead, a red bead, and a white bead. And this is going to look really um, pretty with uh, the red in the scarf and the nose and the jingle bell. So I just feed my beads through there. And then I'm going to attach my hanger uh, to that uh, wood tag. Now the surface of that tag was very nice to paint on. It was very smooth. Now I didn't uh, feel any need to paint the back of it because the wood is actually uh, quite nice. And now I'm just going to attach that. I'm going to pop it through that hole, fold it over, and then I'm going to twist it a little bit around that twine hanger and then just hot glue it. Now I am going to be putting a bow Surprise, surprise. <laughs> I'm going to be putting a bow at the top of this ornament. I have a little red uh, narrow ribbon here with snowflakes on it. Now I'm just going to create this bow um, in the similar way that I always create my little figure eight bows. I fold it under, fold it over, fold it under and over. This way I have two loops on each side and actually two figure eights. And when I create these bows, they always come out perfect with uh, the ribbon facing uh, the right direction, the good side of the ribbon every time. I'll show you how I do that uh, with another bow. I'm going to be making a few of them uh, for these ornaments. So I take a little piece of very fine, uh, lightweight wire. I get that at the Dollar Tree as well. I put it right down the center of that bow to hold those loops together. I scrunch the center of that bow really, really tight and gather it up. And I trim off the excess in the back because I'm going to be gluing this right onto that um, ornament. Now you can see all the little snowflakes on my ornament. It looks so cute. Now, um, I'm also going to add another uh, ribbon. Uh, I really love to use white ribbon for Christmas uh, decorations. Um, I just love it with like, uh, if, it, if I'm using a red ribbon with a white print on it, I love to match that up. Um, I do that a lot with my gingerbread, um, my gingerbread ornaments. As you've, If you follow my channel, you've seen me do that. Again, I'm going to make two figure eight bows, folding the loop under, then over, then under, then over. And there you have it. I'm going to snip that off. And again, a little piece of narrow or fine wire. Wrap it around the center. I'm going to pull that really, really tight to scrunch up the center of that bow. Twist it in the back. And then I'm going to place that red ribbon with the little white snowflakes right on top of there. I'm actually going to glue it. And then I am going to put a jingle bell, a red jingle bell, right in the center. I pick up my jingle bells uh, at Hobby Lobby, where everything Christmas is 50% off. And I'm just going to simply glue that at the very top of that ornament. And I am so pleased with the way this turned out. I love it. So I'm deciding here, a big jingle bell, a smaller jingle bell. And I think I decided on the little bit bigger uh, jingle bell. Going to glue my bows together there. 
And this is going to be a really, really cute ornament on a Christmas tree. Very suitable for a traditional tree, a farmhouse tree, a country, rustic. It suits many uh, different types of Christmas decor. Now I'm going to be uh, hot gluing that to the top. If you feel that you want um, another type of glue, you could also use Aliens Tacky Glue along with the hot glue. And you could see there the thickness of that wood tag. Um, I'm able to kind of just perch that bow right on top of there, just below the beads. Now, if you store your ornaments in a hot attic, you're going to definitely want to use a little bit of uh, tacky glue as well as the hot glue. I don't recommend doing that, but <laughs> you do you, however you want to store yours. I don't do that or my rees. So um, a word to the wise, because if you just use hot glue on your ornaments, you run the, the risk of those pieces falling off during the uh, hot months. And here you have it, one extremely cute Christmas ornament. And that's ornament number one. Next up, the pine cone ornament. Now I love to do pine cone ornaments. These look so beautiful on a Christmas tree. So I'm gathering uh, together here uh, different types of greenery. Remember, the more different types of greenery you use, the more textures, the more um, visually interesting your piece will be. I was going to use that gingham check, and then I had a change of mind later, which you'll see. Now, for my pine cones, um, I do uh, acquire my pine cones out in the nature. So uh, I do have to make sure there are no bugs in them. So you could just soak them in a solution of like 50-50 of uh, vinegar and water. And then after they're dry, I do take them outside and give them a spray of a clear acrylic because this adds a really nice shine to the pine cone and it makes the color more rich and I really like that for ornaments. Now I took my um, red satin cord from Hobby Lobby and I created a teardrop hanger. I created a knot at the bottom and I attached that to the very top of my pine cone. Or I'm getting ready. I'm sorry, I haven't done that yet. I'm going to be attaching it to the very center of the top of my pine cone and I am going to use some Aileen's tacky glue as well as hot glue to do that. So now I am just gathering up little pieces of greenery that I'm going to use to embellish the top of my pine cone. Now I'm putting my um, hanger on now and that little knot that I tied, that's what I'm going to put right in the center of the ornament. Then I take the little tails for further uh, adhering that hanger on there. And I'm just going to glue those down as well. Now I did add some Aileen's Tacky Glue to that. Again, just wanted to be sure that that hanger was really uh, on there very well. Often when I do ornaments uh, like this, um, after I have everything on, I'll go around and just take my Aileen's Tacky Glue and uh, put little dabs of glue here and there. Now, you're not seeing me do that now, but I am going to go around and do that um, after I have most everything on. And this is just an extra assurance that everything's going to stay, um, stay well placed on that pine cone. Now I'm just trying out some of my greenery. I do a little bit of a dry run, just seeing how I would like everything. I think I have like four different types of greenery uh, for, the, for my pine cone. 
Now, um, I'm going to start by placing my greenery on the top of my pine cone, but you're going to see later, I'm going to kind of graduate my greenery uh, down the pine cone a little bit, inserting it into the area around the top of the pine cone. Um, and you'll see me do that here in just a bit. I'll explain what I mean by that. So I want to uh, embellish my pine cone all the way around so that from all sides it's attractive looking. And I make sure to keep my hanger pulled up in the center just so that doesn't get glued down or stuck into the greenery because I want to be sure that hanger is uh, visible and um, that I'm able to hang the ornament. So I begin by uh, hot gluing, but I, again, I do uh, add um, dabs of Aileen's Tacky Glue around the greenery as well. Now I'm going to be placing a um, bow at the top of my pine cone. Now this is a very nice little ribbon uh, from Hobby Lobby. It's a narrow ribbon, but it's wired. And this is especially good for this piece because it will hold its shape on the top of that pine cone. So I'm going to just form my loops just like I do normally a shape all of my um, bows that like, for example, that I place on Rees. This ribbon does have uh, a good side, so I had to be sure that I made sure that was um, facing up. Now I did two loops on each side and I'm gonna do one extra loop on each side that's gonna rest on the two loops. I'm going to use a little bit of wire to wrap around the center of my bow, twist it in the back, and then I'm gonna create one little center loop. Now, the way that I make these bows I have many bow tutorials. Hopefully you have um, seen at least one or two of them so uh, you can understand how I made this bow. But I simply fold over my loops, pinch it in the center, twist my uh, ribbon, fold it over, and I just continue to do that until I have the desired amount of loops on each side. I hold everything in the center with my thumb and my index finger. And then I uh, control or, or place wire around all of my loops down the center so that I have everything all uh, secure in the center. Now, I'm going to have uh, tails on one side of my bow, but because I want this a pine cone attractive from all angles, I am going to create another set of tails. Now, again, this ribbon is wired, and so it's really beautiful. And it's uh, it's got a little bit of glitter to it. If you can see uh, later, you'll see it more close up. But uh, it enables me to ripple, as you can see there, my tails. And I really like that. And again, make sure that you always have uh, your hanger visible and that it doesn't get trapped or glued down into your greenery. You'll notice I, I keep uh, pulling on that hanger to make sure I'm doing that. Now I am gonna put my bow on top and that's what I'm preparing to do here. I'm making room for it to sit right on the top and then I'll show you shortly how I added another set of tails so that I would have those tails on the opposite side. And there you can see me applying that Aileen Stacky glue. So I make sure that I keep my bow on there permanently. So I pull my hanger out of the way and then I place my bow right there on top. Now I am gonna go around, like I mentioned, and anywhere that I can put just a little dab of that alien tacky glue. I'm gonna do that later on, just to make sure everything's really secure. So, so far so good. It's looking really pretty. Now I'm gonna take my hanger, fold it over on the opposite side, and I am going to create another set of tails. Very 
easily I can do this. And I'm letting you know there, that's what I'm going to do. So I just take another piece of ribbon about the length of the tails that I want. I pinch it. And I'm going to put a little piece of wire around there. And I'm just simply going to glue that to the other side of the bow. And then I will have another set of tails. It's that easy. Just twist my wire. Snip off the excess. And I'm just going to pop it in there and just tuck it right at the base of the bow. You see like that. So you see now I have tails on both sides. So it'll be pretty from all sides. And then I could ripple those tails as well on that side. Okay. Now from here, I'm just going to concentrate on filling in all of, of my areas that need um, a little bit of greenery and color. So I am going to be placing some little holly berries on into the greenery. And I'm going to be placing some little tiny pieces of greenery. Whatever you have. Uh, I do have some Dollar Tree greenery on there. One of my very favorites. And I just uh, snip off. There's some pieces of that greenery from the Dollar Tree. Now, when you hold the ornament up, you're going to see that there's areas underneath all that greenery. Where it would look really beautiful to place in those little grooves i they were those little pieces of the pine cone just remind me of teeth <laughs> so i'm going to say just stick your greenery around the wreath of the wreath the pine cone at the top in between the teeth <laughs> the teeth of the pine cone i don't know it just reminds me of that so i'm going to use that as um uh, reference to where to stick in your greenery. And so basically what you're doing is eliminating that gap that you might see around the uh, top of the pine cone and kind of just graduating your greenery a little bit down from the top of your pine cone, if that makes any sense. And now you can see what I'm doing there. I'm kind of facing my greenery a little bit facing a little bit downward and I go around the top and just fill in all of the areas and oh my goodness this turns out so pretty now I'm going to take my little holly berries I leave a little bit of a stem on them so I can glue up the stem and uh, it's got a little bit of wire that uh, is attached to the berries and I'm just going to go around and poke in some of those berries because this is going to add a really nice pop of color into that greenery now you could place as many berries you could also put pit berries in there if you like instead But here you go. Now I'm showing you. Do you see how I brought my greenery down a little bit from the top of the pine cone? This creates a very beautiful look. And I'm showing you here. See how I popped my greenery in? I'm showing you with my picker tool how I did that. Where I popped in the greenery and a little bit of the holly berries. And that really adds a beautiful um uh, embellishment to the top of that pine cone and it's so pretty I absolutely love pine cone ornaments uh, ornament number three I have another one of these wood rings that came in a two pack that I got in the wood department at Hobby Lobby they're around three and a half inches in circumference this time I'm going to wrap 
my ring with a jute cord. And now if you saw my previous video, I wrapped my previous uh, ornament wreath um, with a cotton cord, but this time I'm going to use a jute. And I'm going to use greenery and holly berries and a beautiful bow to create a uh, wreath ornament. So I'm just going to add a dab of hot glue to get that started. And I just guesstimated how much jute cord I would need. And of course, I fell short of about an inch. I always do. It's always hard to gauge exactly how much you're going to need to wrap around something. But no, nope, no big deal. I just use hot glue to secure the jute on there wherever I needed to. Now, I'm just going to wrap this around. I don't want any gaps uh, in between my jute cord. And the areas where the seams are, that's where I'm going to be placing all of my greenery and my bow, just so I have a nice uh, finish to my piece. Now I'm going to take a piece of twine, um, jute twine, and I'm going to create a hanger. Now I'm just going to pull that really tight and sandwich it in between my jute cord that's wrapped around my wood ring. I'm going to tie a knot and I'm just going to create a jute twine hanger. I'm going to use a little bit of Aileen's Tacky Glue and pop it in between the uh, jute cords on that wood ring just to secure that uh, hanger on there. Now I'm going to be creating a wreath um, and I'm going to create that on the bottom half of my wood ring. And I'm going to have a bow, which is going to be at six o'clock. I'm going to be using this white ribbon with the red uh, trim. And this one is from Hobby Lobby. I'm also going to use another ribbon as well, but this is going to be the base. It's going to be about three and a half inches, the loops. And I'm going to create that by folding over my loops twist my ribbon because this ribbon does have a uh, a good side and the other side. And I'm going to keep my bow small, but yet I do want it very pronounced on that wreath. So I'm going to create a four loop bow. This ribbon is wired, so it's especially nice for this piece to hold its shape. I'm going to use a little piece of, uh, whenever I do really small bows, I always use like a really fine wire as opposed to a pipe cleaner, which is too bulky. So I'm using my little uh, fine wire here to secure all of my loops. I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail. And that's going to be the base of my bow that I'm going to place at six o'clock on my ornaments. Now you're going to gather together some little bits of greenery again, just like you did for the pine cone, assuming you're going to make the pine cone. Uh, but we're going to do pretty much the same thing with this piece. We're going to embellish this wreath ornament with Christmas greenery. And again, uh, I would... If I were you, I would gather different types of greenery. This always creates a more beautiful texture and more visual interest to the piece. Now I'm going to take my favorite jute ribbon. It's a little bit more narrow than the white ribbon, but not much. And I'm going to create a four loop bow. Just like I created the base bow little piece of wire to wrap around that. And then I'm going to put a little tiny pine cone right in the center of that bow. And I'm going to hot glue that bow onto the white bow. And on this piece as well, I'm going to put some holly berries for color.
Now this uh, ornament as well, just like the pine cone ornament, beautiful on a traditional tree, a farmhouse tree, country themed tree, rustic. So pretty. Okay, hot glue right in the center. I'm gonna glue that burlap ribbon right on there. And I like to use my needle nose pliers to really squeeze and press those two bows together. Let that glue just adhere very well there. I'm going to angle my tails of my, my bow. And that's going to look so pretty on the bottom of that ornament. Now I'm going to be inserting that greenery all around the loops of that bow on each side. And I'm going to use hot glue initially, but I do, as I mentioned before, go around after and I apply glue. I really turn the, uh, I do a lot of turning the ornament over and applying glue from the back side of the ornament. This way I get all those little areas um, from behind and that will help to make sure that that ornament is secure. Uh, and all the embellishments will stay on. Now I did put a couple of pieces of greenery facing to the left and to the right just to place my bow on, kind of like a bed of greenery. And I'm gonna go ahead and place that bow right on there so now I can place my greenery around the the, uh, the bow and position my greenery to um, look its best. Now I want that nice and straight with the hanger so that when it hangs up on the tree it's going to hang straight so you have to pay attention to your hanger. Now, initially, I just used hot glue, and then later, Aileen's tacky glue, after I had it all put together, went around with just some dabs of glue here and there. That's going to look so pretty with all the greenery around it. Now, I'm going to start applying that greenery all the different types, poke it underneath the loops of the bow. I always place everything first before I make a final decision about gluing. And now I'm going to take my pine cone and hot glue that right to the center of the bow. Okay, now I have that all in place. And I'm going to be placing some holly berries on there, right inserted into the greenery. Just to, uh, pick up the red in that uh, bow, and here you have it. Look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. I added a little bit of sparkly uh, greenery in there. You can see how when you use different types of greenery, it really makes a difference. So with the berries, the pine cone, the beautiful ribbon, that's a very cute ornament. Okay, so these are my last two uh, ornaments. Those um, round ornaments, uh, those wood ornaments, can be found at Hobby Lobby. I'm going to be using some scrapbook paper from Scrapbook Paper Books from Hobby Lobby. One of my ornaments is going to be a polka dot theme, and the other is going to be a Christmas tree theme. There's my polka dot ribbon, two different kinds. 
I'm using a scrap of paper that has little polka dots. Had I had uh, another choice, I would have liked to have had a little bit bigger polka dots, but I couldn't find um, any scrap of paper that matched what I had in my brain <laughs> for my idea. So, but I really think that it turned out so cute. The whole ornament is a polka dot theme. And it's going to look good when it's on a tree. Even though it's a white ornament, it's going to look really nice in that in a green tree. My other ornament is going to be a Christmas tree theme. I have Christmas two different Christmas tree or, uh, ribbons and Christmas tree scrap of paper. It's going to be so cute. Uh, and a Christmas tree wood cutout at, that you see there. That's Hobby Lobby as well. They come in, I believe, a three-pack or a four-pack, and so do those uh, round ornaments. Now, I'm going to paint the sides of my ornament. They, these are of a nice thickness. I think these make really nice ornaments for the tree. Now, they are that pressed wood, so uh, they do tend to soak up the paint, so you're going to have to do a couple of coats on those. Now, if you want to do something with the top of the ornament, the cap part of the ornament, so to speak, you could wrap it with a cord. You could uh, paint it a different color. Um, I didn't do that with mine. Mine are, uh, uh, are kind of a little bit more on the more simple side. These are super easy ornaments to do. Great for the beginner crafter. Now I'm going to be creating uh, bows for my ornaments. For my polka dot theme uh, ornament, I created a, a base bow with white ribbon with green and red glitter polka dots. Oh, it's so pretty. That's a Hobby Lobby ribbon. And the red uh, polka dot ribbon that you see me uh, creating the bow with right there. That's also Hobby Lobby, one of my very favorite ribbons. And I'm going to be creating my over under, over under um, figure eight bow. Now I want to be sure I don't get the bow too, too big, but yet I want it uh, really pronounced on the top of that ornament. So you do you, however big you want yours. But these are just figure eight ornaments in this way that I create them. Just folding my loops over, I'm sorry, under and then over, under and then over. I take a little bit of wire, wrap it around the center, scrunch it really, really tight. And I'm going to place that very cute bow on top of the other very cute polka dot uh, bow. And I'm going to be placing a red jingle bell in the center of that bow. Now I'm going to be just simply tracing around the tree and tracing around the round ornament uh, on scrapbook paper, cutting it out. And I'm going to be Mod Podging that right to the wood tree and the wood ornament. I am going to be doing front and back because I want the whole ornament to be uh, finished from both sides. I'm going to hot glue my bow right to the other bow. Take my needle nose pliers, squeeze it really, really tight. Angle my tails and this is going to create a very cute bow for the top of my ornament. I like my uh, base bow tails a little bit longer than the tails of the bow on top so that you can see that kind of layered effect of the ribbon. Now I put it up up against that Christmas tree. It's really not going on there. It's going on the other ornament. I just wanted to see uh, what it would look like on that ornament. But you can see there, it's going to be very cute on the top of that ornament. And now for the other um, 
I'm going to speed this up a little bit because you've seen me do this over and over. This ribbon is so pretty. It's a Hobby Lobby or, uh, ribbon as well. It's a white ribbon with little glittery green Christmas trees. How perfect is this ribbon for this theme ornament? So I just create a two uh, figure eight bow. It's so pretty, this ribbon. And for the ribbon that goes on top, it's a little more narrow and that's okay. You can mix the widths of your ribbon. Just make sure you put the more narrow one on top. That usually works out best. Another uh, um, figure eight bow. Wrap a little bit of wire around there and I'm gonna glue that red ribbon with the little white Christmas trees mm -hmm. on top of the white ribbon with the green Christmas trees. So this uh, ornament is definitely a, a Christmas tree theme even the scrapbook paper is Christmas trees. I don't know. I just thought it was a cute idea and I went with it. I love to do theme ornaments. So this was just a continuation of that. Use my pliers, trim off my tails. And on that bow, also a uh, jingle bell is going to go on there. Now, I have some of that satin red cord that I love so much from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to be using that for a hanger on both of my ornaments. Now, those ornaments, um, they do come with hangers. Uh, they're actually stapled onto the back of those two ornaments. But I pulled them off and took out the staples and I'm gonna create my own hanger because I wanted a red hanger. Now I'm just going to put my wood Christmas tree and my wood ornament right on the scrap of paper, trace around it with a pencil. And for my tree ornament, I decided just to leave the trunk, uh, just the green color of the paint. And I traced out my other uh, ornaments as well, I'm going to squirt on some Mod Podge and cover up the area of that ornament that's going to be covered with scrapbook paper. A nice, generous, even coat. And then I'm just going to place my scrapbook paper right on there. Now, if you want, if you like, if you feel you need to clean up the edges, you can use a sanding block or a zip sander. I prefer to, if I can, I have very sharp scissors, so I just go around and trim it up without using uh, the uh, sanding block or the zip sander on these particular ornaments. Sometimes I use that method, sometimes I don't. It just depends on the scrap of paper I'm using and whether I want to take a chance on scraping up the paint on the sides of the ornaments. And I felt that I was able to clean up my edges very well by turning my ornament over and using my scissors to trim everything up. I'm going to do both sides of the ornament, as I mentioned. Now my sides are all finished of the ornament with the paint, so that looks like a very nice finished uh, piece. Now I'm going to take my satin cord and I'm just going to tie a little knot and I'm going to adhere that to the top of the back of the ornament and I am going to use hot glue and a little bit of Aileen's tacky glue and place that on whatever side of the ornament I determined to be the back. And then last but not least, after I have all that done, I'm going to place the jingle bell on my bow and I am going to place my bow at the top of my ornament on both of those ornaments. And these are so simple, so easy to do, and so cute. 
Now, again, both of these are uh, on a scrap of paper with a white background, and you can't really see the polka dots very well from uh, this vantage point, but they're red and green polka dots. And when you place them on a green Christmas tree, you are definitely going to see that ornament showing up very well on a tree. And again, I'm using my Aileen's Tacky Glue, put it right under the knot, and then a little extra hold there for the immediate hold with the uh, hot glue. And then I'm going to place my bow at the very top of my ornament, a little bit of the, the cap, so to speak, of the ornament showing Aileen's and hot. and I press it right down on there, and that's a very cute ornament. Again, great for the beginner crafter, so cute. Now I'm gonna do the Christmas tree, and I'm gonna place that bow right at the very, very, very top. And after those dry and the hanger dries, I do go around the back and wherever I can secure the loops of that bow from the back side, I do that. Again, just to be sure everything stays um, very nicely from year to year. Look how pretty that is. Two very simple, very cute, very creative ornaments. I hope you love them. And here you go. This is the last look at these very pretty ornaments. Tell me which one is your favorite in the comments. I love hearing from you. If you're not a current subscriber, I hope you will consider becoming one. And as well, give this video a thumbs up if you would. It helps my channel to grow. And I hope you feel inspired to make one or more of these ornaments for your Christmas tree or as a gift. Which is my favorite could be the reindeer okay until next time you all take care